Hello, I'm gonna go and do some Easter decoration shopping. I don't actually have any Easter decor, but since having a baby, I just love Easter. I love the little chicks, the Easter bunny. I love the whole thing. So we're actually hopefully gonna go and get an Easter tree. I want it to be like white twigs. I've seen one in next that I like, so we're gonna look for that. And then some little like Easter ball balls to go on that I think will look cute so I'll take you along and film like all the kind of new stuff the Easter bits that are in the shops Appalachian sunrise meets my skin even with my eyes still closed I can feel it coming in golden, golden. I'll follow only golden I hope you are well welcome back to my channel I'm gonna show you everything that I got for Easter so so this is stuff that's going in my son's Easter basket and then just some home decor so first up I got these ears these are actually kids ears you can see they're like really short of me but these were from Clinton cards they were something like two pounds really good you can move them as well which I like I like the look of like one up one down I think it's really cute as well so these little ears I then I'm gonna unbox this so from Amazon I got an Easter tree and I have some Easter ornaments as well as you probably saw from the vlog at the beginning of this video I went to HomeSense, B&M, The Range, Next and none of them had an Easter tree so I ended up going on Amazon and getting one just kind of hulk this open oh it's in a flat box what? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that so that's what the tree is supposed to look like we shall see if it's going to look like that because it's flat. How is it flat though? I don't know. I'm disturbed. Oh, that's it. <laughs> so it comes with a stand and it's supposed to light up as well. I can't get it on the stand at the moment. And it's like that. So it's got the wood effect on it, which I really liked. And then I'm guessing you just do it yourself. So you just take the stems out yourself. 
this would be quite nice at Christmas as well to have little things on it I was thinking as well it doesn't have to just be for Easter but I'm guessing this is going to take quite a while to get all these stems out and on the stems they have these lights you can see like these little lights here I'm just getting the batteries out it needs three AA batteries or you can use this USB and like power it into a USB somewhere uh, but I don't have like USB plug sockets on my wall or anything like that so I'd have to do it off my laptop so I'm gonna I have kind of been conned okay this all is not going strong this does not look like the picture at all and I'll show you the picture in a minute like this is one one thing into my Easter haul and I've already been conned here is the Easter tree I like it I like it for Christmas as well it's not what it says on the box the top is a bit funny like at Christmas you could obviously put like a little star but I don't really know what to do because if you just do it like that that looks a bit odd do you know what I mean but it feel like it needs something hanging on it or something on it but overall I think it's quite nice let's see if it actually turns on though <laughs> please it's not working but when I press the batteries in it works oh this is very temperamental this tree but I do like it I was gonna put it on my dressing table or on my uh, mantelpiece in my living room I actually do quite like this actually a lot even though oh my god the bed I've never had an Easter tree before and I am gonna use this this would be actually nice on Valentine's as well to put like little heart things on it cute so I like that but that's this isn't as advertised as you can see they're all straight and then the tops like that and this is what it advertised it was supposed to be swirls so all the twigs were supposed to be swirled like this can you see and with this you really couldn't it's too rigid to kind of swirl into anything next up I have some stuff from HomeSense so I got these two little rabbits I haven't got them out they were $6.99 for the two and this is actually a really cute gift because it comes with this like string around it and everything here they are oh they're so cute they're little felt rabbits so you can see there's that one really gorgeous and then they're plain on the back and they this Easter haul is not going well so you got this one and then let's get this one out and have a look at her she is holding flat now there's a plane why is everything I do so chaotic she is holding some flowers there really cute so I'm gonna put them I got them to hang on the Easter tree so I'm gonna try and get them on this tree I think quite high up because they're quite big nice I like it there's her let's put him up somewhere let's put him here I think that is cute so far I then also got from HomeSense this little chick this chick was $3.99 and I think this is so gorgeous Look at it, it's a chick dressed up as a bunny rabbit. How cute is that though? Gorgeous. So I'm going to put this on my tree. I might put this one at the top of my tree. Maybe. Loop it round a few times so it stays. Ooh. I think that is cute so far. Those three. I That's all I got from HomeSense. And then from Timu. I got all these birds and there was something like £2 for a lot of them and they are absolutely gorgeous. They come on really nice pegs. I'll show you zoomed up. Really gorgeous on these metal pegs. So I just thought I would peg these on the ends of the tree just to add a little bit more colour. I've got pink, orange, green, purples, just on the ones that don't have anything. I'm going to put these birds on. This is actually nice I feel like for the whole of spring, like this isn't just Easter. I'm gonna have this up for all of spring. Oh, I love the birds. They might be my favorite out of everything. I then got, this was from the range, and they are these wooden baubles. I haven't got them out yet, so I need to see what they actually look like. But they're baubles, and then they're on these little strings, and they've all got different patterns on each one. There's that one. Then some are polka dots, and these are my favorite. They've got flowers drawn on them. I'm gonna put these on my tree as well. They're quite heavy actually for this tree but I think I think my tree can manage it I think this is such a cute tradition to do every year obviously when my son's like older and more interested in it then he can do it if he wants 
and I think it's so sweet and you could also there's stuff that they like make at school you could put up on the tree and make little decorations with them it's gonna be so cute Ta -da! here is my Easter tree I think it looks so cute I love it it's so sweet I absolutely love it I wish I'd got from um the range I showed it in like the vlog before they had glass baubles I wish I'd actually got a few glass baubles to put on this but this is the Easter tree for this year I'm not going to get anything else as it's like Easter in a few days isn't it so this is our Easter tree this year so gorgeous so cute I've got a few more Easter bits I've got this insane rabbit so this is from Amazon and it makes different um, like songs, but it also does modern songs. So it's got Bruno Mars, Ed Sheeran, L Justin Timberlake. It's the weirdest rabbit. It's fifteen pounds of Amazon, and you <laughs> it copies you. <laughs> Subscribe to Hannah Tay. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> I adore this rabbit so much. <laughs> I then got this from B&M Bargains. They had this rabbit. This was £8. Doesn't this look like Peter Rabbit? So gorgeous with a little blue coat. And then in the back, it has carrots. I love these so much. Absolutely gorgeous. That's going to go on my mantelpiece. I'm just... It's so sweet. I think this is really good for £8 as well. Because they were ones that were like double the price in Home Sense and they looked exactly like this. But how gorgeous is this little rabbit? I just couldn't leave him behind. I said to Dom though, we were in B&M Bargains and I said, oh, do you like this? And he went, for what? I said, what? Like, what do you mean for what? And he was like, like, for what? What's it for? It's, it's a rabbit. Like, it's ornament. It's not for anything. And then I got these two baskets. So I got these baskets second hand. And I'm going to use this for one of his baskets. Because I saw them in shops and stuff. But then I was like, I can probably get them second hand. So I got this gorgeous one. Look how beautiful that is. Stunning. And then I got this big one. Which I think this one will probably be better. Because then in his basket I'm going to put the rabbit. And then some books. as well. Oh, I haven't even shown you the books. And then books as well gorgeous I love both of them I then around my house just had some ribbon so I've got like uh, three different ribbons here and then I need to choose what ribbon I want but I'm actually thinking gold because I was going to do what one do you think tell me in the comments what you think to do a bow on the basket do you think red this thick red has a bow on it do you think baby blue or do you think this thick gold one because I'm kind of thinking the thick gold one. Let me do it. Like that. What do you think? And then you have two books. You have two little books that are in here. Got them off Amazon as well. This is a Peter Rabbit picture book. So it's just the original story of Peter Rabbit, but in a huge book, which I like the idea of that. <gasps> oh my gosh. They've like made the pictures so nice. Oh. I love it. That's gorgeous. And I want—I have all the Peter Rabbit books, but in the small books. And so I wanted to get them in the big ones as well. And I feel like when he learns to read, it will probably be easier in a big book like this than in like the small books trying to look at stuff. And then this, which I've never read. This is Paddington's Easter Egg Hunt by Michael Bond and Karen Jankley. So I'm guessing it's after Michael Bond died. Maybe this book came out. It's based on Paddington's Easter Egg Hunt, which was in a magazine in 1995. And that story, they made it, Karen's made it into a bigger story. So made it into its own book. But Michael Bond just wrote like a little piece for it for a magazine. So interesting actually, like now this, I feel like with books, whenever I get on thing and I find out a new thing, I'm like, oh, I've got to read that as well. I've got to read that as well. But it'd be interesting to read the original comic that he wrote and see how much she's changed in the story. But it's just an Easter egg hunt, I think. Him giving Easter eggs out. I thought it'd be really cute. They're gorgeous. So we'll see. I haven't read it yet. So I'm gonna put that in his basket with the other one, with the rabbit, and then with like a little teething toy, put it in this big basket. 
to choose what bow to put on it. So put in the comments what bow you think I should put on his big main basket. Yes, do you want to read this? Do you read this? Or do you want the tree? You want to look at the tree? You mesmerised, is it gorgeous? So I'm going to end this video here. I'm making almost daily videos, so feel free to subscribe. Look how cute with this little like, book in the basket. I'm going to end it here. I will see you tomorrow for another video. I was going to, for Easter, tell me what your Easter plans are. I had, I was going to go and see my family. I was going to go and visit loads of different people around Easter. But, oh, oh, darling. But he has a little cough and Dom is like full man flu. So we, I know, you're a bit ill, aren't you? You're a bit ill, gorgeous. So I'm going to go. I'm going to read him the book and then we'll tell people if it's good or not. And you can look at your Easter tree and I will see you probably tomorrow for another video.